I'm gonna preface this by saying even I'm not really sure what this is. It's something between that make-believe food scene and hook and a dream I had the other night. It's mostly a factor of I'm hungry and I want potato and I want to play. I found these the other day when I was looking for masking tape and because I don't currently use buttercream, I thought, hmm, mashed potato. I don't know if you guys eat these, but they're kind of my guilty pleasure. So I want to get just a little bit of avocado oil on these guys. Nothing crazy. I mean, who doesn't love a chicken nugget? Did you guys ever eat the kids' TV dinner that had the penguin on it? For some reason, I remember that one being the best. Cheers. I'll have you know a serving size of those chicken nuggets is six pieces, so I'm counting my calories. Crazy as it might seem, actually knowing me, it's probably not crazy. I'm gonna do potatoes two ways. I want to do some mashed for the piping. And I'm going to do some like I did in my samosa video because those came out so good. They were the best part of the whole thing. I'll start with the big chunks for the mashed potato because my water's already boiling. It's actually the opposite of the way that I do it on a standard stove. I will put the potatoes in cold water and bring them to a boil. Ew! It's probably fine, but I'm too scared. <clears throat> anyway, it's the opposite of the way I would normally do it because this stove uh, here at the ranch is essentially a series of hot plates and it just does not heat and cool in the way that you would expect. We're doing two kinds of potato. We might as well do two kinds of olive, right? I also have some cheddar and some Tillamook Jack that need to get used up. And we're gonna use a little bit of the last of this mushroom. Where are we going with this, you might be asking yourself. I wish I knew. Do a rougher chop this time since I forgot how much mushroom cooks down. Time for standard mash procedure. Butter and steam. My nugs! They were fine guys, don't worry. Season this up a little bit now so it gets all good and mixed in as we continue to mash. Just a little bit of cream cheese. And steam. No potato cam today because we're plugged in because our battery is low. So we're gonna do fly by one. Hang on, the outside of this is a little too fermenty, if you know what I mean. I like how when I suggested to Becca that I wanted to do broccoli and cauliflower and I was going to ask her questions, that none of her suggestions even included broccoli and cauliflower. Because I'm not qualified. She's huffing at me right now, I just know it. I might end up adding a little more cream than I normally would since I want this to be kind of smooth for question mark piping. I took the immersion blender to this for just a second for a little added smoothness. Mm, perfect. No, we were three paper towels, Rich. Jess, those coconut chocolate bars that you made the other day look fantastic. I might make that my first, I, well, I don't have a food murderer, but I might make that my first foray into cashew cream, blended raw cashew something food murderer. Actually, do I have a food murderer? Is the Vitamix a food murderer? Hmm.
I know, just stay with me here. Okay, so we're just gonna go with the vision that I have in my head and adjust as needed. Is that the perfect amount of nuggets or what? I don't know, Joe, I don't know what you're making. Ooh. Okay. I have to say, mashed potato is a very satisfying medium to pipe in. Joe, you could have just spread this out with a spatula. I know, but let me have my playtime. This is intensely satisfying. Okay. Let's try the star tip, shall we? Oof. Waste not, want not. You guys see the burn that I got on my wrist today? Making pizza for the boys? All right, I kind of wanted to go all the way around with the star tip, but I don't think I actually have enough mashed potato left. So, hmm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're so cute. I know there are other dishes that use this application. Maybe like, um, oh, sweet potato pie. Doesn't sweet potatoes do this? Something like this. <laughs> mm. Carl's coming up to me and he's just like, I'm gonna go to like Zova. <laughs> I'm gonna take the work truck. Nobody's gonna notice if I'm gone for an extra hour and a half. So can I take you to the store and then to home? <laughs> Cause you shouldn't be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Death face. Oh my gosh, I made it. <laughs> now comes all the things I envisioned adding to this and we'll see how that actually pans out. What did you do during quarantine? Well, you know what? No. Well, I had a different plan in the beginning, but we're just seeing where this takes us. I'm gonna save the recipes for breakfast tomorrow, clearly. Do you believe mom had these in a drawer? She has everything. <laughs> this does have a definite 70s vibe, but I am not mad about it. I wish there was another color going on here. I did used to do colored mashed potatoes. Ideas for another time. I did always envision this having cheese on it, but I kind of don't want to lose all definition, you know? Um, hmm. Alright, I'm going to pop this in the broiler with the hopes of melting the cheese and generally heating the whole thing up.
and done. I think I'm calling this crazy thing potatoes a la quarantine. It didn't come out exactly as I had envisioned, but I'm happy with it and I had a great time. But on that note, I'm hungry and I love you guys and I'm out of here.